Hello. We uh, receive plenty of questions about mist nets at Avonet, and it seemed uh, like a great idea to introduce some of the aspects of the mist net that, that as we define them, uh, to help people understand um, how we view the net. Uh, mist nets have um, obviously the netting, they're notoriously difficult to see. Uh, the netting has a mesh size. This happens to be a 30 millimeter mesh, meaning that when you stretch the square or diamond of netting, it will be 30 millimeters. Stretch mesh. mesh. We also have what we call trammel lines. Those are lines that run horizontally across uh, the length of the net, and they weave the netting uh, into forming these pockets, and those pockets are where the bird uh, gets nestled and, and captured in the net. We also have what's called a, the sideline or the end of the net, and um, that provides a way to uh, define the height and distance between the trammels and establish the depth of the pocket. So the excess netting on the net uh, provides the pocket depth which varies in our bird and bat nets. You can always adjust the height by the depth of that pocket, in a sense, by adjusting the height or distance between the loops. As you see, the pocket becomes deeper as I bring this loop down. Another aspect of the net that's important, I'll just bring this bottom trammel up, is the concept of tethering. Net tethering refers to the net being attached to the trammel line so that all of the netting doesn't blow down in one direction or blow back in the other direction. That involves using uh, two trammel lines um, to weave independently and connect uh, the trammel, the netting to the trammel lines. 